Thanks for tuning in. My name is Ed Schofield with Johnson Strengths, the supplier of New Well Chemical Product Line. Today's discussion will address Johnson Screens clay dispersant New Well 220. New Well 220 utilizes a dispersement polymer chemistry specifically designed to remove mud and clay from any well environment. It greatly enhances the successfulness of any new well development or well redevelopment or cleanup of an older impacted well, all without the use of any phosphates. New Well 220 can also readily assist in the rehabilitation of older wells plugged with formation sediments such as clays, silts, and fines. Like all of Johnson Screen's New Well products that are used down hole, it is NSF approved for potable water use. The application of New Well 220 in well development. New Well 220 should be mixed on the surface for proper dilution at a rate of two gallons per thousand of the targeted treatment volume. Mix the New Well 220 with clean mixed water prior to adding it to the well. New Well 220 weighs 10 pounds per gallon and simply pouring it down the well does not provide sufficient mixing or proper placement. It is likely to just sink to the bottom of the well. New Well 220 needs to be put into the well and worked into the screen and gravel pack for a minimum of several hours to accrue penetration into the gravel pack. Ideally, at least one half hour per every 10 to 20 feet of screen interval. It is also recommended that New Well 220 be allowed to circulate or sit in the well overnight, a minimum of eight hours, and again reworked the next day prior to being pumped or airlifted from the well. These important steps will ensure that the New Well 220 is in contact with the targeted material for its effective removal. Check with your drilling mud supplier to determine if any of the bentonite drilling fluids used in the drilling of your well was beneficiated or enhanced with polymers. Today, most drilling fluids or drilling muds have 5 to 10 percent polymer added to the drilling fluids to fortify the solution yet their addition is rarely advertised or referenced as being present. If any polymers are present or suspected of being present during the initial drilling of the well, then it's important that you treat specifically that polymer additive, breaking that polymer down first, if you desire a complete and effectively developed well. The removal of this added polymer in the bentonite mud mix is critical to any successful well development process if the new well 220 or any competitive mud removal product is to work properly. Chlorine, a strong oxidizer, is effective in breaking down these added polymers. This superchlorination is required to break down these polymer additives. It's important to note chlorination as part of the development is much different than disinfection. The superchlorination of 1,000 to 1,500 parts per million should occur after the bulk, mud, and cuttings have been removed from the well, but before the use of the new well 220 clay dispersant. Prepare the chlorine solution at the surface. A 1,200 ppm chlorine solution is comprised of 10 gallons of sodium hypochlorite at a 12% strength per 1,000 gallons of potable water and a 1500 ppm chlorine solution is comprised of 12 and a half gallons of sodium hypochlorite per 1000 gallons of potable water. Place the chlorine solution evenly across the screen interval of the well and work thoroughly into the screen and filter pack. Only after 12 to 24 hours of soaking and periodic agitation should the chlorine solution be circulated then out of the well and all of this prior to the introduction of the new well 220. This material will be turbid, containing solids, and may have active chlorine residual, which should be neutralized before disposal, using a product like Chlorout New Well 500 after the removal of the chlorine solution. The properly mixed New Well 220 solution should then be spotted across the well screen interval and worked into each interval of the screen, and then allowed to again soak for a minimum of eight hours, but no longer than 36 hours. This wait time is necessary to allow the new Well 220 sufficient time to break down the clay bonds and disperse the particulates for their ultimate evacuation from the well. Re-agitate the screen interval again before evacuation. Start the removal process at the bottom, working upwards until you have fully evacuated the well. 
monitor visual turbidity, conductivity, and solids content to verify the removal of all the material. Please review the treatment recommendations online or in our chemical brochures for new well 220 concentrations for new wells, as well as those of older or more severely impacted wells. New Oil 220 was the first phosphate-free alternative product to be NSF approved and to be used in potable water wells. It is NSF Standard 60 approved for use in potable well systems. New Oil 220 is made of a food grade additive and is biodegradable, leaving no byproducts or residue in the well or the formation following its use. New Oil 220 has been extremely successful in the removal of bentonite drilling mud during typical new well developments and equally effective on older wells that require well redevelopment or suffer from insufficient mud removal from when they were originally drilled, like during a drought, or those that have been impacted by sediment migration. If you have any additional questions about our new well chemical line, please visit our website at johnsonscreens.com. Additionally, we recommend you check out Chemical Cleaning, Disinfection, and Decontamination of Water Wells by John Schneiders and published by Johnson Screens. This book is a great resource for everything related to well cleaning and well development. You can find links to our book, our website, and other documents in the description box below.